I guess we all know why we're here, right? We're here to celebrate the life of a great musician, great vocalist, great human being. This is one of Woody's signature songs here we're gonna do here. It's called Green Dolphin Street. Donald Woody Woodhouse is best known as Mr. Versatility Vocalist Extraordinaire, a consummate musician and entertainer, playing his musical trade for more than 50 years. Since moving to Seattle in 1965, he has become a West Coast jazz legend. Don't sweet talk. I don't want to hear you lies. Woody has shared his golden baritone voice throughout Canada, Europe, and Asia, and he has even graced Carnegie Hall in New York City. Woody was the ultimate fan. He would share his expertise and knowledge, helping us to advance our aspirations. So we're here tonight to share our love and memories for you, Woody. Thank you. to a lot of things about the presentation of a performance. Uh, Woody had a style of once he started to sing, once he got on the stage, he was in control. And you knew you was on for a nice ride also. And you could tell it by the way he commanded the band, by the way he commanded his performance, and by the way a band performed behind him. Because it was always full of fire. And he sang like an instrument. Uh, the way he used his voices, his phrasing, um, you, you could hear a sax. You could almost hear a sax doing the same thing that he did. But he did it in the only way that he could do it. And it was, it was beautiful. people listen. He was a, <laughs> a marvelous singer. And when you see people tapping on the table or you see a head going, you know, you, you know you have the audience. He and plus he was a pro, you know. He, he just walked in and took charge and just started going at it and I like that. i 
lovers one lovely day But love came planning to stay Green dolphin street supplied setting A setting for nights beyond the ground dog. Woody had a memory for, for vocals and um, lyrics that was phenomenal. I think if you matched his memory up with a computer, it'd probably take about about 10 of them <laughs> you know, to store all the songs that he remembered because he had such a memory for lyrics. He remembered every song he ever heard. And, and that always amazed me how he would do that. We got so many guest artists in here this evening. I want you to please let us know who you are, where you are. And if you got any kind of stories about Woody, please let's share them with us. Oh, Lord. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I know one of my favorite ones he used to say when somebody was loony, he said, you put his brain in a bird and the bird to fly backwards. I used to love that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Overton Barry. They go back a ways, too. You and me, the moment's here. I'm almost in your arms. exceptional talent, and an incredible person. Woody was not starstruck. Woody was definitely about quality. He was definitely about creating, being very creative, growing within that creation. He had the qualities of a star, and in some ways, he definitely was a star. He did not have to uh, have his name up in lights. He kept everybody relaxed to the point that you didn't go to hear Woody to think and, and, and for the first time that you were going to go hear this, you know, you know, this great big star. When you left, you realized you had heard a star. You're near the moments here. I'm almost in. Say that. 
Overton Barry got to the stage, Woody would do that song because Overton was one of the very few people, if maybe the only person in Seattle, that actually knew that song. And so I told Bernie, I went over to Bernie's house this morning, I said, hey man, Woody used to always love this tune. It would be wonderful if you could do this tune. He learned that this morning. Yeah, I laid it on him. I told him, I told him, I said, hey man, Overton Bear is gonna be in the house. You better learn this too. <laughs> so right on. So we did that for you, Woody. Our main man, Woody. Woody was such a pleasure to perform with. And the main reason is because he was so eclectic. In other words, he didn't just do jazz, although he was a great jazz singer and loved to do jazz. He did R&B, he did blues, he did everything. He just liked all kind of different kinds of music. Without a word of warning, the blues walked in this morning, circled around my lonely room. I didn't know why I had that sad, lonely feeling until my baby. Explanation, but to me there's no consolation. No, no, just goes to show you, no matter how you love, everybody's got to lose. Since I've lost that brother, walk around where I'll walk the dark. Thank you. 
leader sometimes may, may be the initiative of that feeling, or he might just be the one that encourages that feeling. And Woody did both. So you, you brought your A game when you backed up Woody, and, and you had fun. You just had fun with it. No question in my mind that Woody's quality in terms of what he presented, how he presented his, his creative juices, um, Woody could have gone anywhere in the world he wanted to go. I, I mean, there, there was no question. The quality of his singing, the quality of his voice, his personality even, and his stage presence were, were top-notch pro. I mean, just right across the board. But he didn't have to be, he didn't have to be in Madison Square Garden to present this. He did it wherever he was. Overton's Overture. Because of Woody, I met you know I met musicians who who liked what I did and, and called me. So he was an enabler. I guess is what I would call Woody. And and uh, Woody, I just you know I just liked his singing. Period. You know. So just out of enjoyment, I liked his singing. And Woody was a great influence on me. He took me under his wings, and um, I was just getting out on the scene, getting out on the circuit. And Woody always would support me. He always would tell me, stick with what it is you do. He'd name two or three songs, learn these songs. <laughs> learn these songs. Every time I'd sing, I got some more songs for you to sing. This is one of the first songs that Woody told me, learn this song. <laughs> and everything he told me has been to my benefit, and I always love him. I'm gonna love you like nobody's love you. Come rain or come shine. High as a mountain, deep as a river. Come rain or come shine. I knew when you met me, it 
was just one of those things. But don't ever bet me, cause I'm gonna be true. If you let me, you're gonna love me like nobody's loved me. Come rain or come shine. Happy together, unhappy together, and won't it be fine? Days may be cloudy or sunny, we're in and we're out of the money, but I also a member of the Royal Esquire Club and uh, back in 2003 when we heard Woody was uh, very ill we thought we would uh, honor Woody as, as a legendary musician of the Seattle area and we did that with the help of a lot of musicians especially Overton Berry and we decided to form a scholarship the Woody Woodhouse Musical Scholarship which is available at the Royal Esquire Club for musical students and they can apply by calling the Royal Esquire Club. That scholarship fund has over $8,000 in it, and we uh, give a scholarship out every year to needy students, mostly in the inner city students. It doesn't matter what race or diversity or creed, whatever, any students that's qualified to go into music, uh, that scholarship is for them. And it's in the name of Woody Woodhouse. I took a trip on a train and I thought about you I passed a shadowy lane and I thought about you two or three cars under the stars, a winding stream. Moon 
shining down on some little town and with each beam same old dream at every stop that we made oh I thought about you but when I pulled down the shade well I really got blue I peeked through the cracks and looked at the track the one up on Madison, a place called Honeysuckles on Madison. And we weren't supposed to be in there, but that's where everybody was hanging that day. And uh, it, was, it was at Christmas Eve, and I was on my way home to my wife, was way, on his way home to, to uh, Ra, so Woody asked me would I take him down on Lake Washington, Woody wanted to coach the turkey, Ra's what it was. So I took Woody down to get to Turkey, so we came back up, and then I says, uh, so Woody can you take me home? I said, why you want me to take you home? He said, because I wrecked my car, and I don't want Roz to know I wrecked the car. <laughs> so I said, Woody, I can't take you home. I got to go home. He said, no, you got to take me. So I took him home, and Woody would not let me leave because he knew if I left, Roz was going to get in on his case about wrecking the car. So I must have stayed out there half the night because Woody would not let me go home. At every stop that we made Oh, I thought about you But when I pulled down the shade Well, I really got blue through the crack and looked at the track the one going back to you then what did I do I thought about you Kenny McGee, y'all. Yes, indeed. I heard Woody sing this song long, 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 long time ago. And ever since I heard him sing it, I didn't want to sing it slow no more. <laughs> but it goes like this. Are we really happy? Searching for the right words to say Searching but not finding a bit of understanding Anywhere I'm lost in a masquerade Both afraid to say That maybe we were just too far away Being close together from the start Trying to talk it over and over But the words get in the way And we're lost inside And it's lonely so we think this so holiday uh, jobs we had between Christmas and New Year's at the Mardi Gras restaurant. 
and he was uh, he and I were hired to play with uh, Gene Argel on the keyboard, and we had a trio there. And he was singing songs then like "These Are My Favorite Things" and "Baltimore Oriole," and of course I was coming from a rhythm and blues background with Dave Lewis Combo and and uh, James Brown and uh, and uh, Little Richard and that sort of thing. So it was kind of a learning experience for me, but very exciting time to, to be able to play jazz music with Woody and Gene Argel uh, in that venue. so much from Woody is because Woody understood the, line, the lineage of the music. Uh, jazz is a type of music you don't know what you're doing today if you don't know what happened before you in the past or you don't know where you're going in the future. And the, the jazz musicians that I've always appreciated and admired, admired are people that understood the importance of tradition in jazz music. So Woody understood the, link, the uh, lineage of the music. stage he knew exactly what he wanted to do and that's another thing I appreciated about him is that when he walked on stage it's boom 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 all right we're going to this tune we're going to that tune there's never a moment of indi indecision so I guess there were many memorable moments with Woody Woodhouse simply in the manner in which he walked on stage called the tune and the key and we're off and running and the whole program would run just like that It's lonely. Woody gave us our first opportunity, uh, Butch Harris and other musicians in that era. He gave us our opportunity to perform at a classy place. There will be many other nights like this. And I'll be standing here with someone new. There will be other songs to sing, another fall, another spring, but there will never be another. But he was, his clarity of diction and his pronunciation, his, his phrasing was so impeccable. And it demonstrated to, to us how it should be done. If there will never ever be another, there will be many, 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 many other nights like these. What it was the type of person, if he saw talent, and everything, he'd go up to him and say, wow, I enjoy what you're doing. Uh, 
you want you to try this, put this in your rep or something like that. I mean, he was there to help. And if you had, he saw that you had ambition and talent. And uh, even if you didn't, he would still encourage you if you wanted to do it to go ahead and do what you like to do best. Because uh, for the years that I've known Woody, I've never knew him to uh, put anybody down. He was always there for us that were younger than he, you know, always willing to help us and show us and greet us. He never changed. He was always the same warm, loving person, always. The first thing you can know about an amateur musician is the fact that nothing is related to anything they play. One phrase is not related to the other. It wasn't like that with Woody. When he did the invisible flute by whistling, or if he did the trombone. <laughs> And it was very pleasing to anybody who was sitting in the audience listening to him, because he was really good at that. been in, in many situations where Woody just walked on the stage in the middle of somebody doing a song that he liked and he just grabbed the mic and took charge and everybody, most people would get upset about that. With Woody, they welcome it because he was such a great performer and great entertainer and he just, he just lit up the stage and took it to another level whenever he grabbed the microphone. <laughs> Jazz is a type of music you don't know before you in the past, or you don't know where you're going in the future. And the, the jazz musicians that I've that understood the importance of tradition in jazz music. So Woody understood the link. Woody Woodhouse was a um, man and um, a beautiful a wonderful jazz vocalist, 
I could tell you some stories, but you don't want to hear them. For all we know, we may never meet again. moment sweet again we won't say good night until the last minute I'll hold out my And my heart will be in for all we know. This may only be a dream. And we go like a ripple on a stream. So love me, love me tonight. Tomorrow was made for some. one point he stay every time he would see me he would say oh it's an I, I need a gig oh it's not a gig finally one day I'm just it was, it went on for years like all our running jokes and I finally said oh wait a minute aren't, aren't you working at the hospital and he goes yeah and I said and aren't you working at such and such place at night and he said yeah and I said what do you mean you want a gig he said, I need a breakfast gig <laughs> I said you crazy man you know but that was Woody. That that was Woody. It wasn't about I want you to do something for me. That's a setup. He set you up to make you laugh. My Davis walked off the stage. That's what the people are saying. Oh yes, he did leave the stage. Soon as his solo was over, Cole Trainy walked off the stage. That's what the folks all are saying. Oh yes, they did leave the stage. Clean out of sight now they say they had to rehearse although we know they were masters they had a real groovy sound and you will have to admit it oh yes they both left the stage soon as their solo was over and if you can't figure out their groove i like to whip you well my friends now about miles davis I knew why so many people tried to find some fault of this man and his horn. And when they go, ever he was playing, they seemed to go to see whether he was going to tend to business. A shoot do ba do ba do do ba do 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 ba a shoot do do ba do do ba. He never walked around the place to speak to all of the folks he didn't know. I wouldn't either. With you friends, but I, I know he was friendly to the rest of us. We do, oh yeah. We dig his beautiful soul, and we love him and his blue horn. And here's another thing now about the clothes he wore. I am shot I was in the future. The fit of his clothes was perfect Just like the way he played He was not afraid of being different He came from an era Where you had to do a lot of things to make it You know So the invisible flute 
the invisible trombone, uh, in addition to his just wonderful voice and his phrasing, I'm gonna miss that. These autumn leaves drift by my window These autumn leaves I see They are red and gold I see a sweet When my love walks away When these autumn leaves start to fall, some of them, the best moments and the most fun moments with Woody happen off stage. Those are things we can't talk about on TV. <laughs> so we had a ball off stage, as much fun off stage as we had on stage. So he was just a guy that was bigger than life. Night and day.
I do miss him greatly now. Um, it's crazy, man. And I'm using that in the most glorified and wonderful sense possible. It's a crazy man that I love to talk with, joke with, listen to. And, um, yeah, I will miss him greatly. Even more than I do now, more than I realize I do. Pack up all my cares and woes. Here I go, swinging low. Bye. Woody shared his craft with many. Leaving you with something from Woody says it all. Don't touch me. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch me. You know they belong to someone else. Don't touch me. I'm no good here on the shelf. So don't touch me. Don't sweet talk. I don't want to hear your lies. Quit acting. You're just a devil in disguise. Don't touch me. Not till your heart's made up its mind. Don't touch me. in your arms one side one dying eye will rush to your embrace well sad at certain side and with all my heart to your arms i'll fly to your arms i'll fly it's strange how things have changed by things that seem so small one look could write a book one kiss could say it all Thank you. 
All right. How about it? Floyd Stanley, we still got it. Thank you much, ladies and gentlemen.